personality goes a long way, according to Jules Winfield in Pulp Fiction. And while Samuel L. Jackson's character was talking about the merits of dogs over pigs, the same maxim applies to cars. Such is the case with our long-term 500X. It continues to charm us, despite the faults. Yes, this car has faults. One being the 9-speed transmission, which is a lot like a Where's Waldo book. It's sometimes fun, usually confusing, and ultimately takes too much time. And the center infotainment screen is slow to boot up. We also noticed some excessive noise from our wind or tires, which isn't necessarily the fault of the 500X but, hey, this is the paragraph about gripes. But 500X related stories in the Auto blog office follows a consistent pattern, this one thing, man it's bad, but I still like the car. Take X, for instance. And X has a lot of possible options, quick warming heated front seats and steering wheel, the upright driving position, the general layout of the interior, and the bright saddle leather seats in our tester. And therein lies why we still like out Fiat. It's just kind of a happy car. It cover the basics well enough, spacious interior, versatile cargo interior, comfortable seats, and makes up for the rest with general good cheer. There are better cars than the 500X, but there are also better, more boring cars than the 500X. Picking between the two, we'd prefer the flawed Fiat to a boring alternative.